Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here. Real beautiful beauty. Gonna do a product review for you today here on a um, basically a beauty gadget. This is something I've been looking at for some time now and I finally went ahead and made this purchase. I bought this from my Nordstrom's for $146 and um, which was kind of cheaper than other it was cheaper than other stores and other online shops and stores. So anyway, I spent $146 on it. Finally went ahead and got up the, you know, the uh, basically the nerve to buy it, if you will, you know. I was hopeful for this working. Um, now this is by the company Bliss. I am not sponsored. I am not affiliated. I have no connection to the company in any way. Like I said, I paid $146 for it. Pay for it with my own money. Therefore, I am going to give you an honest review. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to BS you. I'm not going to candy coat it. I'm not going to sell you any advertisements for this product, uh, market it in any way, etc., etc. Okay, now that we got all that good fun stuff out of the way, um, obviously, uh, those of you in the beauty community that are into beauty gadgets like myself, I am just a total beauty gadget junkie as well as a beauty product junkie, etc. Okay. Um, this is a handheld device here, and basically it is for the uh, benefit of helping reduce cellulite, 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 whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually don't have any cellulite, believe it or not. I'm just one of these lucky people, uh, I guess. <laughs> you know, I don't have any cellulite, but what I did buy it for, I bought this for the purpose of um, similar to a lymphatic massage something to just get the the lymph system and the lymph fluid you know moving around in the back of the thighs in the buttock area um, even my lower back area I just wanted to kind of get things moving you know and being that this product it has a roller device and suction and that good stuff I thought it would really help as a lymphatic massage um, basically like water weight gain you know in those areas of your body where you feel like you're got some <clears throat> fluid retention or some water retention going on and I wanted to get shake it up you know get things really moving so I'm not going to be able to tell you how if, if effectively or not it worked on cellulite because I don't have any um, but I would really guess that it would not work on cellulite or cellulite to tell you the honest truth I just don't think it would I don't I don't see it being able to do that I, I really don't Okay, um, here's the cream you use with the product, obviously. This is, uh, like I said, it's by the brand Bliss, as you already know. And this is, uh, <coughs> ooh, excuse me. This is the Fat Girl Slim Skin Firming Cream. Okay, and it has caffeine in it. So yeah, um, a lot of cellulite, cellulite scrubs do contain ca uh, caffeine because that dehydrates the skin and what caffeine will do is caffeine will dehydrate the skin therefore shrinking the skin and it will mimic the appearance that that area of the body got smaller so a lot of people just in general like to use caffeine scrubs now I tell you this cream I really I didn't like it uh, the smell was okay but I just didn't like the way it worked let me show you and I've used a whole jar here I've used this product for several um, weeks now probably about two months now and I wanted to use it long enough to give you a fair and accurate review because I don't want to lie <clears throat> to anybody out here okay so yeah I've used the, basically the whole jar is a little bit left in it and the cream was very thick and um, the device uh, would lag and it would kind of get stuck on spots and get stuck on your skin and it just the fluidity of this cream uh, mixed with the device it just would not glide across the skin it wouldn't smooth its way across the skin like you would expect it to it seemed to kind of at times clog the machine up it kind of seemed to get stuck on certain parts of of your skin um, yeah I just didn't like it overall I didn't like the cream so what I did do was I used other things with this device I used um, basically I uh, used like a Hugo body lotion I used some um, like uh, almond oil I used um, oh gosh some other type of oil I can't think of what it's called but you know like any of your carrier oils or even massage oil possibly I would recommend a massage oil you know if you don't like the that girl's slim cream 
the caffeine cream that come with this product. Um, I would highly recommend using a massage oil, a almond oil, a sunflower oil, some type of carrier oil. You know, I would totally recommend that. Uh, possibly even olive oil would probably work well. But yeah, and um, it's an expensive system they've got going here because it, if you do use the cream and you like repurchase the jar, these jars are expensive. I mean, um, I don't know, I think they're like $30 or something. I'm not sure, but you know, when I bought the device, I paid like $146 for it, like I said, from Nordstrom. And the cream come with it, and this is a let's see two ounce jar so it's a pretty small jar but anyways if you use this daily like it's recommended which like I did you could really blow through this cream very quickly and it could be very expensive and I'm sh I'm pretty sure it's thirty dollars or more just for the jar I'm not sure don't quote me on it because like I said this jar come with this you know it was a package and I will not be repurchasing this cream so I really um, can't tell you exact price but yeah it's expensive it would be very costly you could blow right through this very rapidly and just be out a lot of money so anyways on to the actual device here it's handheld and it's lightweight and it's very convenient here you just slip your hand in here like so and it comes on a charger so what you do is you charge it up you know before you use it obviously a couple hours unplug the charger here because when you use it you don't use it plugged into the charger apparent you know obviously you free it from the charger itself so you know you slip your hand under here like so under the uh, buckle if you will and yeah here's the device let me go ahead and show you um, I'm gonna turn it on and the noise the noise of it is so um, oh it's agitating I just totally found I found the noise kind of scary at first and very agitating and after a while it kind of seemed to get on your nerves you know it's like one of those noises kind of like a paper shredder you know after a while you can listen to a paper shredder for like X amount of time and then it grates on your nerves and then you're just like you do anything to stop it so the noise is kind of crazy and it was very annoying and I do not like the noise okay let's turn it up here got it on high speed here and this is to control the strength of the suction obviously you turn it up the higher you turn it the more it sucks your, your skin your back of your legs your thighs your buttocks whatever area you're working on this device rolls along. This right here is the suction portion. It's like sucking my finger up a little bit, sucking my hand up a little bit. Um, yeah. Let me turn it off so I can do some blabbing here. Okay, so um, yeah, you run this like you're going to use it on your thigh, right? Your upper thighs or your buttock area. And you run it, you pull everything towards the heart, supposedly. So you use upward strokes and upward motions. Um, yeah, you would be pulling, you would be pulling like up, okay? So anyways, yeah, um, I just don't like the device. It, I, I don't think the suction power is enough suction power for my benefit of getting my lymphatic system flowing, uh, getting lymph fluid flowing through my body. I just didn't feel it. It was effective at all. I don't think it's powerful enough. I think the sound is very loud. It's very annoying. It's very grating on your nerves. But being the sound is very um, spooky kind of. You know, it's kind of like, ah, uh, crap. The sound of it makes you think it's going to work because it, the sound is so um, annoying. But it really doesn't. It, it does not. It seems to, like I said, get stuck certain areas of the skin. Like, um, I guess if just a certain area of your skin, like if you got like a part of your skin that might be not as a taunt, it might be a looser piece of skin on your thigh or, or maybe even up towards your buttocks, it, it, it kind of gets hung. And I just really didn't see any benefit of it. And it did leave a lot of red marks on the back of my thighs and on the front of my thighs and on the sides. It, it left like suction um, hickey marks, if you will, you know, like, I mean, it's like, look like a vampire totally attacked me or something, you know, I mean, like freaking Twilight or something. Oh, yeah. But anyways, okay, maybe not. But yeah, it left red marks on me and the suction marks did diminish with time, obviously, took about 25 30 minutes for them to go away and diminish which was no big deal it didn't leave any scarring or anything like that or bruising or nothing like that because like I said it's just not powerful enough you know and um, 
I think it gets very dirty too. The the cream and the lotion, uh, cream and the lotions and the oils that I use get clogged up. You really have to wipe it down and try to keep it clean. This part um, moves. This is supposed to help glide across the skin. Like I said, I don't think this product really glides at all. This is the suction portion, and um, yeah, it just I, I don't like it. You know, I mean. If you have it and you love it, that's great and it works for you. Honestly, it does not work for me. I'm going to tell you my straight up honest opinion. It's not worth $146. I've seen it a lot pricier than that. It is definitely not worth that kind of money. And I don't think it compares in any way or any form or fashion to uh, procedure, procedures that you could get in a salon. I know the Bliss salons claim that this is what they use, um, this device, when they do it to you at salons but I, I think that's a bunch of BS. I believe they use real equipment. I don't believe they use a rechargeable handheld device or anything remotely similar to it. I don't believe it. So yeah, this is what it sounds like again. And it depends on what strength you put it on but see like that, it's like only about level two and it pulsates in the noise. The noise is so, I mean, it was like, I was watching this Halloween movie, you know, and John Carpenter Halloween movies, and it kind of reminds me of the movies, you know, like Jamie Lee Curtis and Halloween and, yeah, all those movies and stuff. So, yeah, it's so annoying. Yeah, turned it up. Still annoying, okay? Okay. Annoying. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And what it's going to tell you was there is a button here. And like, this was the kind of cool feature of it. It's this, this, like the suction button here. Okay. When you want to get the suction action going, you push the button. Okay. And yeah, that was kind of a cool feature. Let me turn it on here. I don't know if it'll show you what it does, but, but yeah. You can see how all the cream is clogged up in there, even though I, I regularly wipe this on a daily basis. I have used this product for almost two months. Like I said, I wanted to get a fair and accurate um, amount of usage so I could be honest with you through review. But like I said, this product, yeah, I don't like it. Okay, so yeah, this is by Bliss, obviously. And this is the uh, Fat Girl Slim. And this is like... I think, think you call this, um, I got the box in my closet. I think you call it like the fat girl, fat to slim, yeah, like fat girl, fat to slim uh, lean machine or something like that. Yeah, it has this really catchy name. But yeah, I'll put it in the down bar below the exact name of it because my box is in the closet. But yeah, so I'll put all that in the description bar and that's just not worth worth to me $146. I do recommend if you're going to buy this that wherever you buy it from to check out possibly and I always try to tell my um, fans all this to check out return policy. You know, um, this is still within a time frame for me to return it. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through the hassle of actually returning it or not, but I mean, I possibly could. So check out store return policies before you purchase a product, especially beauty related, that you're not for sure of. And these are pricier gadgets and products. I would check out return policies before you make your purchase. Ask the store what the return policy is. If you're buying online, inquire about it, check it out, look at the links, make sure you know what the return policy is. That way in the event, you know, you don't like it, does not work for you, you hate it like I did, you can return it. So yeah, I always do recommend that, you know, in case you need to get your money back, you possibly can. Okay. So yeah, enjoy. Bye now. Take care.